we're going to keep things positive here because we've got Annie Martin from Kindness Monterey joining us. Annie, welcome to Pup Talk. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, Kindness Monterey, like you read that and you're like, oh, there's something good going on here. But the further I, I dug, the more and more stuff I fa- found out that you guys are doing. So for the layman that's never heard of you before, put it out there for them what you guys are doing. All right. So we're, we're trying to actually accomplish two things, maybe even more than that. But... We're wanting to help our restaurants, our local restaurants, because right now they're really having uh, a challenging time with all of the um, regulations and things that they're having to do. Um, And so we want to help them stay alive because we're so blessed in this area to have so many great restaurants. It's part of our whole culture here, going out and, and being together. The second part is we want to be able to spread good cheer to people in our community. And there's a lot of people right now that are just really being challenged with uncertainty around their jobs, around their uh, financial situation. So we want to kind of have the pay it forward with kindness. And you do that by buying gift cards. So you support your local favorite restaurant. You give it to somebody, a coworker, a friend. Um, we actually have a great website where we give you suggestions as to people that you can gift it to. Um, and so there, there, the sky is the limit as far as how many people could use a gift card right now. So is this movement really spurred on by this pandemic that we're all facing? Is that what was the catalyst to like grow this? Uh, absolutely. Um, during the shelter in place, um, my main source of going out into the world besides, you know, once a week to the grocery store was to go and get takeout food. I ended up adopting a restaurant in Pacific Grove, uh, Mezzaluna. It's and a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a, and I just, you know, I went there two or three times a week. I, um, sometimes for my family, but often I would take it and deliver it to friends and sometimes had it, had it delivered. And I started to bond with the owners and I just felt like they were always so um, gracious and smiling and humble, and it was just those two. Cirque S- S- and Amy, Cirque and Amy, they're they're great. And their little dog. <laughs> and um, so I just realized, you know, how important it was to be able to um, give back to the restaurants. Um, they, you know, I was a chef, so I have to say I have a a, a very you know soft, tender place in my heart because I know how hard the work is. It's, I mean, you have to love what you're doing to be able to have a restaurant. It's like having a second, you know, child. Or or a child a second. Or I, I feel like everybody should have to work in the restaurant yeah. industry it, for a minimum six months. I totally yeah. agree. I grew up in it. I started at 11 years old. I was in a French restaurant. So I know how hard it is, but I also know how fulfilling it is because you give to people and you see them happy. And it's, you know, it's the best thing you can offer. And so it's been so hard for me to see. I have many friends who own restaurants here and are chefs. And it's, you know, I know they they greet you with a smile. They always will. But, you know, they're also really, it's so uncertain. So I wanted to, you know, I'm not sure, like, how many thousands of gift cards we would have to honestly give them to make them okay. But I do know if they got a great response from the community that they would feel our love and support. And maybe that's what will keep them going, you know? And what's the response been since you started this? It's been really good. We have right now about 40 um, uh, restaurants on on our website. And we just had another 10 reach out to us this week. And we've been actually going around, and I don't know if you can see it, but we've been giving them little gift bags with information on how to sign up and um, we're really doing uh, like a reach out because one of the things that we found out it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be and that is that most of the restaurants don't have the capacity to offer a gift card on their website which they're really going to need to do that and they're going to need to be able to offer online ordering yeah because we don't know where this thing is going and we know that probably we're gonna have to weather it for at least another at least for the end of the year and who knows when so i just want everyone to have the opportunity to to be successful and so 
You know, I don't know um, if you knew that um, Santa Cruz did a similar campaign, except for they did it with all their, like, small retail businesses. And um, they were able to get the um, city behind them, and they were able to get some great sponsorship and be able to do matching donations. And they got, they went from having 20 businesses on their website to 200 in six days. Ooh, wow. And then they did an online um, conference, I mean, a concert, and they raised uh, $200,000. Right wow. now, I've, right now they've raised over a half a million dollars for their, for their businesses. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I am very inspired, and I really know that we have it in us to do it. It's, you know, but I'm really, you know, we have to get the restaurant signed up. So one of the great things that's happening with this is that people, we're, we're, it's kind of the synchronicity. So we were, um, Doug Erickson, who's from Santa Cruz Works, he's a brainchild of, it's called Riding Out the Waves in Santa Cruz. And he's the one that connected and got the grant money. And then, so I called him up. I said, how did you do it? I can't, I'm having a hard time getting the restaurants to, to sign up to get the gift, the, the gift card capacity. And um, so he said, well, actually, we worked with CSUMB students through, um, they have a program there called Get Virtual. Wow. And they get credit for going in and helping businesses. And they get to put it on their resume. That's so convenient. we connected with them, we're signed up, and we have six students who are starting next week to go out and start working with some of our area restaurants. So I'm very excited about that that's, because that's, that's, that's the key, is to make sure that, the, because we're, we're putting a lot of money into our marketing and our PR. And, but we need the restaurants to be on the website so people can go on and buy a gift card. Well, and, and that's what I, I was going to ask. So for someone that's hearing us now and they're like, I'm going to go check out Kindness Monterey. Yeah. And so they go to the website. What What's that experience like? Do they pick the restaurant they want the gift card? Do they just get a, a Kindness Monterey gift card? Like For people that are listening, tell them how it works. Okay. So on the home page, um, you just scroll down and you'll see, like, right there, you'll see... Um, Re buy a gift card and there will be the restaurants and um, we ha it's really a great website and um, it says like search all so you can I mean they're all listed or you, we have them broken down by area so we have every town you know so we have like and in Monterey we broke it down to downtown Monterey the wharf Cannery Row we have Pacific Grove Carmel Carmel Valley Big Sur um, Marina Seaside Salinas so you got options, yeah. plenty of options. Yeah. And so you just go into wherever you're looking, you're like, okay, who's available? Let's get this. And, and and then you purchase the gift card right there from the website, right? Yep. You have, you have there's like little icons. Of, it has the name of the restaurant. It has the address. It has the phone number. It has a link to their website. And then it has buy a gift card. And you just click on buy a gift card. And then it, it actually gives you... Um, most of them, let me just say that, will give you the um, ability to be able to then gift the gift card. So you can, you know, buy it for yourself. But I am really trying to inspire generosity with this. It's not, it's, you know, so the idea is if you know somebody that, that needs a lift, just send it to them. And, and, and hopefully maybe they'll be so inspired they'll want to do it. Just pay I mean, it forward, right? Yeah, yeah. pay it forward. Well, I, I love the concept, love uh, helping you get the word out on this. Uh, a, a, as you mentioned, Santa Cruz has had a ton of momentum going on. We're trying to get that going on down yeah. here, the south end of the bay. I encourage people to go to kindnessmonterey.com yeah. yeah. and, and check it out. Um, check it out the shop, but also maybe mention this, some of the restaurants that you'd like to see on there. And that's what it's going to yes, take, right? You can, yes. You can, you, in fact, there's a sign up. Um, it's, it says sign up, so you can actually nominate a restaurant. So if you don't see your favorite restaurant there, there's a, a, a whole little thing that you fill out. And we've actually had some of the restaurants, we've had people come on and say, hey, this is my favorite restaurant. I want you to know about them. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. And then I, I just want to tell you about we're, we're doing an online concert, big fundraiser. Very cool. And um, it's a Sunday at 6 to 9. 
and Kiki uh, Wow, she's a, a, a musician and she does a lot to support all the local musicians. Anyway, she's gotten 12 musicians um, to play and she's filming them ahead of time, but it's going to be a great three hours. We're interviewing uh, some of the restaurants and we'll have information there. And then we have a GoFundMe button so people can, people don't want to like bother buying a gift card. They can go on there and donate that way. And we're also right now working with the American um, Wine and Food through Monterey Bay. Hopefully they're going to be our fiscal sponsor. So we'll be able to, um, you know, we'll be able to give tax donations for over $250. And we're working with Wendy Brickman, and she's going to be reaching out to businesses to try to get us sponsor money to be able to help fund this. And we're um, working with Chatterbox PR, and they're trying to help us get um, you know, as much leverage as we can through social media, and the main thing is to get the word out. Yeah. So. Well, let us know if there's anything else we can do to help. Okay. Certainly inspired by what you're doing. Thank KindnessMonterey.com. You. That's nice and easy to remember. Super easy. Check it out. We all know you love restaurants. Support some of them that are on there and suggest some that aren't, uh, and pay it forward by all means. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for coming on. Oh, gosh. Well, this is fun. I had no idea. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we appreciate okay. you coming on. By all means, and appreciate all that you're doing, too. Okay. Thank you.